All right, guys, welcome back. Today, let's talk about what Monero did a few days ago on the 18th. Uh, Monero did kind of a bank run. Monero is a privacy coin. They're basically auditing and exposing exchanges that are selling more private crypto, the Monero coin, than they have in their reserve. So basically, let's jump into it. I just found out about this, but it's kind of interesting to know because I think more and more people are going to be jumping and getting more Monero because it is a privacy coin. All right, so Monero owners are staging a crypto bank run to test exchanges. So this already happened. So basically, it is a bank run. When you go and you pull all your funds out of a bank or an exchange, it's a run on the bank or the crypto exchange. So basically, the Monero run is aimed at exposing whether exchanges are selling more private crypto than they have in their reserves. So it's kind of a community audit. So let's just go through it real quick. Community members for privacy-focused cryptocurrency Monero, which is ticker symbol XMR, they plan to, uh, they did, they simultaneously withdrew their holdings from a series of exchanges in an effort to prove that the exchanges are selling Monero that they don't actually possess. That's kind of dangerous. Uh, they shouldn't be doing that. So the, uh, the self-described Monero run as in bank run was planned for Monday 18th April, which happens to be Monero's eighth birthday. So they did go ahead with this. April 18th, we're withdrawing XMR from exchanges. Any exchange that hasn't disabled withdrawals, which many of them have already, we're pulling our funds. So this was from a post on Reddit and let's go through and here's the reasoning. The reason for this stunt calls back to Monero's privacy enhancing features. Whereas Bitcoin transactions are easily traceable on its blockchain, Monero is more resistant to tracking. I believe the IRS has a reward or bounty out to anyone that can break the Monero encryption or algorithm, whatever, and no one has done it to date. So that's a good thing for privacy. Monero, which is made, uh, which has made it attractive to cyber criminals, although its adoption lags far behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. So yeah, Monero, they always use that excuse where it's attractive to cyber criminals. They, they said that about cryptocurrency starting in 2016. People are trying to, uh, you know, malign it, make it look bad. Oh, it's all, you know, how can it be I don't know. They're just always trying to throw shade at it. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. So basically it hasn't uh, been totally adopted yet. It's a privacy, privacy coin and it uh, lags behind that of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this tracking resistance has led to the theory that exchanges are using the op opacity to sell Monero they don't own and generate cash for themselves, creating the need for a kind of community-led audit of the reserves. They're basically trying to expose exchanges that are selling Monero that they do not own. So that, hence, is uh, the Monero crypto exchange run, the bank run. Uh, Monero's obfuscated ledger has enabled a number of exchanges to misrepresent, uh, misrepresent their reserves and sell XMR that they don't actually have, knowing that all too many of us will never withdraw and no one can see on chain the evidence of their misdeeds. That's the post from Reddit. Let's see. The plan with the master draw on Monday is to see with exchanges which exchanges honor the massive amounts of withdrawal requests. If the, uh, if the withdrawals are successful, then the exchange has seemingly not done anything shady. If not, and owners fail to withdraw their coins, maybe the exchange never actually had the Monero to sell in the first place. This sort of phantom money is what Monero community members have referred to as paper Monero. It's just virtual Monero. Yeah, they don't have it. They don't have the money to cover what people have in their accounts, and that's, that is not good. Uh, let's see, a Binance spokesperson told Motherboard in an email... Uh, in an emailed statement that Binance has a strict internal policy of not allowing any use of token holdings from users. We have an internal monitoring system to handle the reconciliation to ensure that the blockchain balance is the same as the system balance. Good for them. As the world's most liquid marketplace of digital assets, this is not an issue as we see on our platform. So at least Binance. Binance is keeping honest. Good for them. Uh, let's see. I'm really excited for this, guys. One member of the Monero Focus Telegram group said in a channel-wide message on Friday. That's good, man. You got you to gotta have a community audit. It keeps people honest and uh, 
helps build trust in exchanges. All right, as of Monday morning, some users were posting that they were withdrawing their Monero from exchanges and reporting on whether they were successful or not. Some posts on the Reddit uh, Monero channel describe successful withdrawals from Kraken, while others uh, users reported network congestion delaying withdrawals on Binance. But I guess the withdrawals went through even though there was network congestion. Some described buying Monero on an exchange just to withdraw it instantly. The 24 hour price of Monero is up 0.61% on Binance currently and on Kraken the price of Monero has shot up more than 25%. Yeah, all that activity, if anything, drove the price up. So that's interesting. So there you go. Short little article, the uh, Monero community auditing the exchanges, keeping people honest. And I think it's a good thing for the community. And I know once I'm through mining certain coins on my CPU, I'm going to go back to the Monero Ocean. And I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to start stacking lots of Monero. Some of that yummy XMR coin, uh, get that in my wallet. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys mining Monero? Do you own Monero? And uh, what do you think about it? Yeah. Good article. Go check it out. Know that the uh, community is out there auditing, which is a good thing for privacy coins. And I really think the privacy coins are going to get more adoption. I also, I don't own, well, do I own, I don't own Monero. I use Monero Ocean, but I was mining it out to another coin. Yeah, I think I was, I don't remember which coin I was mining to. Anyway, uh, then I also own Pirate Chain, ticker symbol A-R-R. -R. I don't know how many R's are. R. Uh, that hasn't done too well right now. But uh, yeah, there you go. Check it out, guys. Good news for the community. I like that people are doing this and it keeps the exchanges honest because you just don't know which exchanges are truly honest or not. And you don't want to lose all your coins to a shady, uh, a, a shady exchange. Yeah. All right, guys. That's all I got. Talk to you later. I'm out of here. Go enjoy your Saturday. Keep mining. Keep mining. I can keep mining Ethereum. Keep mining CPUs. And if you have ASICs, let me know about your ASICs and which ones you like. And if you're profitable and you're getting ROI. A lot of people are talking about ASICs lately. I just don't get it. I don't, I can't do it. It's, I just don't, I just can't commit yet. So I'm not buying GPUs either, but I am really on the CPU side of the house right now, stacking coins and staking. That's where I'm at. All right. Just wanted to share that. I'll talk to you all. Take care. I am out.